people think. When I was in school, I would... Hello there. All right. So today I'm extracting and scrapping any useful parts out of some laptop batteries. Um, so I'll say why. I mean, I actually find these really good. I, I'm always quite happy to get laptop batteries. Reason being is you typically get um, around six cells sometimes eight depending on the, the age <clears throat> and what I often find is that out of the six cells you will generally find you might have one weak one maybe two but that most of them are actually in um, really good condition um, I've got um, some little charging units that I built up um, that charges them and yeah generally speaking my um, you know have quite a high success rate of the batteries charging and maintaining their charge um, and also having a good rate of um, storage you know long-term storage capacity as well as been able to deliver quite a good amount of um, current so this is how I generally try and get into them um, I know I probably shouldn't be cutting towards myself but I normally just do just cut after cut until I can feel starting to get some progress because I don't want to cut into the battery obviously that would be bad so I have quite a few I've probably got about 30 of these lithium ion cells um, I've used a few in little projects but haven't used a great deal but I figure that here we go one day they'll come in handy and you know I like, like mucking around with things oh, looks like I've got the batteries a little bit there and you know I've turned one into a self-contained rechargeable um, remote control cat device otherwise known as a laser oh, it looks like I've scraped myself a little bit that's not uncommon right. oh, there we go nothing like violence right some lovely purple ones and I think I've had purple ones before so the other thing I like about these as well is um, you generally find some good gold plated terminals on on the connectors right so let's let's disarm the device I mean obviously you got to have a, be a little bit careful there's definitely a certain risk of um, voltage potential on these batteries still so So looking at the board, I don't tend to keep these, um, though I mean I'll, I'll pop some of the chips off but that's really about it. Um, but if I cut into these, you know, see what I mean is the, they tend to be quite good 
gold plated terminals. Um, which, you know, anyone who's interested in, you know, extracting the gold recovery knows there's, there's really bugger all gold in there, you know, it's only gold plated. So, it's about volume. Um, you know, you're not, you're not going to make a fortune um, doing this sort of thing, you know, for the gold. Um, you're not going to make a fortune doing this sort of thing for anything, um, to be fair. So, you know, this is just more, oh, no precious gold. <laughs> um, you know, I just do this as hobby stuff, but I've been collecting um, the gold coating terminals and chips for for years, and just just you know they just build up and build up. Um, I've looked into the process for extracting the gold. To be fair, um, most of it's probably beyond what I'm willing to try. Um, but as time goes on, you know, processes can improve. Um, items can get more value. Items can get less value. So, you know, that's, that's not a bad amount of gold recovery pins for it. But the main thing for me are these. So, what I'll do is strip, just cut these down. Even though this got quite a nice long leg on it, which could be useful, I do do cut them down because obviously I don't want it to go at all and create a short. So I've mullered the covering of that one, but you know the battery itself is going to be okay. Um, when I'm doing the cutting here, I'll cut on the negative side, like that, because then I can spread the positive and cut, whereas if you cut on the positive side, you know, forcing these in, you're likely to go through the protection and you'll short it out. Whereas on this side, it doesn't matter because it's all the same potential. So, so we've got six cells. <clears throat> My experience tells me that I'll probably get four or five good ones out of this. Um, which is really useful for any type of project I may want to do. Um, it's one battery. So I've got another two of these batteries today. Um, they're not exactly the same as that one. You know, they're, they're slightly different models. Um, oops, sorry about that. So the other batteries that um, I often pull apart are these cell phone ones. So pretty much a different end game for these. Um, sometimes I'll find that the batteries are actually okay, and it's the the circuitry here that's gone. Um, that happens probably more often than you. Than you think actually so but basically with these the main goal is I'll just pull these gold terminals off um, 
So that's your charging and protection circuit. And that's your just your, your, your battery. Unadulterated basically, that's just now. So, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll hook up um, an external charging circuit to this. Um, just test it out, see if it's okay. If it's useful, then hey, again, another battery for a project. Um, if it's not useful, um, I put it into battery recycling. So, simple as that. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, my next video, I might do some more on the um, 3D printer to CNC project number two, part two. Um, I've done the x-axis and then I'll do the y-axis. Well, thank you for your time.